In the early 90s, James Cameron was working on a cyberpunk film based on a short story by neuromancer author William Gibson. Here's the story. One of the fun things about doing research for episodes of Unmade Masterpieces is discovering all of these forgotten projects I've never heard of before. While putting together the Neuromancer series, I came across a few that were especially interesting. Like an adaptation of author William Gibson's 1982 short story Burning Chrome that would have been directed by James Cameron. An early cyberpunk piece, Burning Chrome was about a pair of hackers who break into the databanks of a ruthless tech mercenary named Chrome to pull off a daring heist. The story helped lay the foundation for Neuromancer and featured Gibson's first use of the term cyberspace. According to an old Gibson fan site, Burning Chrome was initially going to be an animated production. In the mid-80s, before Cameron got involved, producer Leonard Mogul apparently planned to adapt Gibson's story as a sequel to the 1981 cult classic anthology Heavy Metal. The project is said to have stalled after Heavy Metal didn't meet box office expectations. Cameron got a hold of the rights in the 90s and started working on a script for Karolko Pictures. Reportedly, Burning Chrome was going to be Cameron's follow-up to his Karolko-produced sci-fi blockbuster Terminator 2. Although William Gibson is rumored to have somewhat disliked Cameron's interpretation, he may at some point have contributed a screenplay rewrite. For reasons unknown, the movie never happened. As with nearly every production Gibson was involved with towards the beginning of his career, very little is truly known, and the few details we have are difficult to confirm. I even stumbled across a page for the film on BFI.org that lists Mel Gibson as the lead actor, though I'm pretty sure it's just confusing one Gibson for another. For a while, I wasn't even sure if the production actually existed, until I dug around and found some reports on a lawsuit filed against Cameron by artist Gerald Morovsky, one of many that accused the director of stealing the idea for Avatar. Morovsky alleged that he had pitched a version of Avatar's story during a meeting with Cameron in 1991. The case was dismissed after Cameron submitted a 45-page deposition, proving an earlier origin for the film's plot and key concepts. Briefly mentioned in these reports is the fact that Cameron first met with Morovsky to purchase some artwork he planned to use for Burning Chrome. A short plot synopsis is given, saying that Cameron's version of the story was going to focus on a wounded war veteran who comes back into society as a partial cyborg. It's not much, but it's the most reliable documentation I could find for the film. 